Lieutenant? How we doing? Uh, is that a Confederate saber you got on your belt there? <laughs> yes, it is. Where'd you get it? Antietam. Spoils the victory. You call Sharpsburg victory? Antietam. And yeah, I do. A glorious one. Mount up! What's your glorious victory at Sharpsburg, Lieutenant? Antietam it is, in. With the 51st Pennsylvania, me and my boys took the Burnside Bridge. We softened them revs up with a light howitzer from the East Bank. And we stormed that bridge like hell from hell. Should have seen them graybacks run. <laughs> yes, sir. Them boys got the skinny end of the horn that day. I was on the other side of the bridge that day. That's all. Yeah. You want to know why we retreated? We was out of ammunition. I'm killing Yankees. Now, don't get me wrong, they were some brave men. Brave men. The General McClellan might just as well have been sending them up against a firing squad. They kept charging. And we kept shooting. Like fish in a bloody barrel. Time we was done, there was a bridge of bodies across that river. Yeah. It must have been when you finally come across. When all the killing was done. Yeah. yeah. We must have put down 500 Yankees that day. So. You want to call that a glorious victory? You go ahead. 500, 1,000, 10,000, it doesn't matter. Hey, hey. We won, <laughs> and you lost. And I got the sword right here to prove it. I'm just gonna have to take it off you and shove it up your ass again. Yeah, is that so? Listen to me. Listen to me. Sometimes you gotta bite the tongue and just take 